Thanks for staying with us. Now, the fact that Nigeria has a number of corrupt judges is common knowledge in the country. Over the years, there has been various allegations of corruption in the judiciary. In 2013, two high court judges were suspended and recommended for retirement by the National Judicial Council for misconduct bordering on corruption. Now, judicial corruption reduces public confidence in the country's justice system. And today, we hope to address this and other challenges in the justice system. John Olusegun Odubela was conferred with the rank of Senior Advocate of Nigeria in 2017. Since his call to bar, he has been in active legal practice and he has been involved in several cases that has influenced the development of law in Nigeria. He is a member of the Nigeria Bar Association and the International Bar Association. Now remember, you can join this conversation, tweet at us at Plus TV Africa or at Wayshow Africa one with the hashtag Ways, or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-8038-4663. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Shego. Yes, uh, good evening. Thank I'm you. I'm also glad to be here. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. All right, so um, my good friend Lamy, before we came on show, she said something. Um, judiciary is the hope of the common man. I mean, I think it's a common saying in your in your legal no, space. No, no, I'm saying no. Comment. You mentioned it now. Me, I'm yeah. not a lawyer. Okay. But the truth, the truth is, um, the 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 layman understanding that I have about legal issues in Nigeria is that do not even bother to go to court hmm. because if you go to court, it's almost like a waste of time. You spend. The, you spend lots of money, you spend long time, and yet you're not able to meet, I mean, find justice. Yeah. Why is this so? Well, uh, I think um, just like you have rightly said, that um, that is the hope of a common man because um, anytime your rights have been breached, either a government or even between individuals, I mean, instead of taking laws into your hands, you want to go and enforce that your right in the court of law. Well, Lamy, yes, please. why do we have these issues in the legal system? You are a lawyer. Okay, there are multi-dimensional um, issues. Mm -hmm. um, first is um, delaying access to justice. Mm. And what are the factors that motivate this? Um, insecurity. Then judiciary insecurity by like general general insecurity, insecurity okay. in the country, judiciary dependence on executive, mm -hmm. um, public failure of public institutions, mm. then the lack of democratic culture mm. in Nigeria. Okay, I think and we have part of um, the problem. Okay. Yeah, I think we have um, Shagun back. Yeah. If you can hear me, good evening, sir. Are you back? <laughs> We were having a bit of challenge with your net. Yes, I can. I can oh, go, please go thing. ahead. Go ahead. You were saying some things. Yes, I was saying that, yes, you know, is the, is the, is the last hope of a common man because mm -hmm. if uh, your rights have been breached or mm -hmm. maybe you have a contract with somebody who had breached and is trying to oppress you, I mean, you, you go to court because that is the only place where you can you can you can get justice that is only where where you can actually enforce those your rights so it's the last hope of a common man because no 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 individual will want to take laws into his hands so where you have that breach of your right you go to court to enforce it so it's the last hope of a common man right i find it interesting that it is the last that lawyers would say that it is the last hope of the common man because the common man doesn't feel that the law is their last hope. They would rather sort it out um, themselves. And there is also this general perception that judges and judgment in Nigeria is bought Court. over. An example is when Hush Puppy was arrested for fraud, a lot of Nigerians were crying out, don't bring him to Nigeria like he has enough money to buy himself. The system. Yeah, to buy over the system. And then when it was announced that he was being um, 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 moved to the US for um, judgment and all the legal was, terms, yeah. yeah, a lot of people were happy. Even I was happy that it's not going to be here. So um, talk about the law being um, the okay, hope of in, the common man. So what you're saying and, in essence, 
is that the public um, opinion of the legal system in Nigeria is completely Different. eroded. Yes. Okay, Mr. Obudu. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I don't, I don't agree with that. Really? Because you see, there is no way where you have done the proper investigations, assuming somebody has committed an offense, mm. and you have done your proper investigations, and you take the person to court. You see, what is important is that as a prosecutor, you know the elements of the offense. You know what you need to prove in order mm. to get the uh, the accused or the defendant uh, convicted. So mm. I don't believe that uh, uh, in Nigeria that uh, you can, you don't, you see, many people say so, but if you find out, it, 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 it is not, it is not so. Look at even the EFCC in the recent times. There's so many uh, people that have been convicted. I mean, once you have done proper investigations, and you know that the elements, because you see, everybody is presumed innocent until it's proved otherwise. So you need to really prove the case that the person has committed a crime. Okay, and of course, Saudi once you are able to prove that, of course, there is evidence, the court will now convict the person based on the evidence that you have put before the court. So whether it's in Nigeria, whether it's in the United States of America, whether it's in Britain, it's still the same criminal system of justice. No, Mr. Abdubala, uh, let me sum up. Nobody to court and say because you feel it has committed that offense and that you expect the person to be jailed at all costs, even without you proving the case. No, it doesn't work like that. So mm -hmm. people that say now they are happy that they've taken uh, people to America is not in Nigeria. I don't believe so. Just about two days ago, or even yesterday, uh, somebody was convicted for seven years for commit for having committed a, a fraud. I mean, for me, I mean, you. what Mr. is important Odubella. is that Mr. you have Odubella. your evidence and you go to court. Mr. Odubella, I so think what she's saying in essence is that um, the, complete, uh, the public confidence in the Nigerian legal system is completely diminished. And part of it is that you can buy the system. And part of the reasons are delay in justice and even the investigation we all know that it, most of the time is manipulated so what are the reasons for this that's what she's saying in essence that why is it that no. there's an appearance of corruption in every every uh, every um i mean um when you talk of landmark mm. cases in nigeria there's always an element of corruption it's always tainted the the public always i think it's not it's just automatic for the public to feel justice is compromised in Nigeria. So the essence of what she's asking is, why is it so? No, you see, when you talk about corruption, that's a different ball game than, you see, when you now, you caught somebody in the course of corruption, you need to do investigations because even though you are alleging that somebody is corrupt, you still need to lead evidence to show that he actually committed the offense that you are alleging that he has committed. And I can tell you that I know that corruption has been a very bad uh, vice in Nigeria, and the government are trying their best to ensure that at least it is reduced. But we also need to uh, uh, let the, the citizens also know that there are efforts to ensure that it is reduced, if not totally uh, okay. eradicated. All right. And so, I can tell you, all these issues of corruption too, they, they also come from different homes. So <laughs> if we, we teach our children well, of course, these are the people that will go out there. So okay, I don't so want... I don't, I don't believe Mr. personally. One minute, that, let, me, uh, let me put in a question. Say, uh, in for you. Context, there's so. no justice, there's corruption here. Yes. But <laughs> at the same time, too, every hand must be on deck. Absolutely. We and agree with you that every hand must be on deck. Mr. Dupela, if you can give me a minute to give you a, a, an explanation of what I saw. In 2014, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, then he was um, the former attorney general of, um, 
of the federation uh, of um, the state or i think Lagos state or something and uh, yeah that's the word i got it right right <laughs> right in 2014 he wrote a piece uh yeah. that is i mean you can google it online a reformatory approach to criminal justice system in nigeria and he said in that and i quote that many of the provisions to fight crime are outdated and in some cases they are they are anachronistic and he said defense lawyers have become masters in dilatory tactics to making difficult making it difficult to reach any kind of closure of any criminal case in nigeria take cases for instance with, with i mean the kingpin uh, what's his name that was caught in magodo um, evans oh, for yes, instance yes. that we thought that okay they were a lot of there were a lot of evidences against Evans for him to be quickly, you know, um, convicted and you know jailed or whatever it is. Up till now, the case is still dragging. So a lot of defense lawyers also have de they have de they have um, devised tactics to be able to delay justice. You know, find it, making it difficult. This is a quote from Professor Professor Yemi Oshibajo. So it's not even something that we are saying. It's not even something that the people are saying. So if we are if we are if we are complaining that it is always easier to get justice outside the shores of this country, so where is the problem in terms of what is bringing that um, that assumption in Nigeria that people do not find it easy to trust our judiciary system that they will we will find justice when we take our cases to court, especially when you don't have money. Uh, well, that's a different ball game if you're talking about. Uh... Uh, somebody who has been accused or has been charged and does not have uh, enough uh, economic power to engage a lawyer. But let me come back to your earlier question, particularly on what uh, our revered uh, vice president said at a time. You see, again, I want to say that the system too also needed to be overhauled. You see, let me tell you, except there are lacunas in our laws, no lawyer can take any advantage of maybe delaying a matter or being uh, playing tactics and what have you. I think once there is a lacuna, that is when that opportunity can arise. And of course, when you are talking of a criminal uh, a system of uh, uh, proceedings, of course, we need to be very careful because... You, at the end of the day, that person, if the proper things is not done, will be convicted. And we have seen instances too where people had been wrongly convicted. And that is why you, we, 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 we must be very careful too in our criminal system to ensure that at least anybody, any person accused of any wrongdoing, of any crime, should have the opportunity to explore all his opportunity to defend himself. Mm. So for me, I mean, I, I believe we also need to overhaul some of our systems. And uh, in the recent times, I think we've done, we've achieved a lot of things in that area, particularly on the areas of uh, when in the criminal proceedings, uh, you, 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 you get a chance to stay proceedings and you can go on appeal and then come back and still there. I think we are, we are, we are, I think we are, we are, we are, we are moving forward. Mm. And uh, the only area which I think that we needed to also look at is the areas of the ethics, the conduct of lawyers to in court. And I think if we are able to achieve a better uh, procedure and a, 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 a better guidelines and a, a, a better punishment in the areas I think it will be better. It will be better. But I want to believe that as a lawyer, you owe your clients the best that you can offer. Sometimes it is not about the lawyer. Sometimes it's about even the procedures of the investigations. Because you, you want to, once you take a, a case, you accept to hold a, somebody's brief, Let's say, for example, in the criminal procedures, in the criminal proceedings, if somebody has been tried to court, of course, you owe that uh, your client, the defendant, the best of your professional competence. So sometimes uh, the people view it as a delay. It's not a delay. <laughs> but I'm not. That's, I'm not saying that. Of Mr. course, Odubella. there are no few instances where 
there are delays and that we really need need as as lawyers too to have some in-house uh, clean up uh, cleaning yes so yes i was it's going there not Mr. A, 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 a categorical thing to say that uh, in everything the lawyers uh, want to frustrate the procedure and what have you so Okay, Mr. Odubela, we all know that lawyers are perceived or they are actually agents of change in the society. They, they are part of the instrument to deepen democracy. However, I'm not oblivious of the fact that we lawyers in Nigeria have challenges. We have challenges of insecurity, um, judicial dependence. Um, we have issues of public institutions, failure of public institutions. I would like you to comment on the issue of judicial dependence on, uh, 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 on, uh, uh, on the executive. What, what are your thoughts on this? Well, I think uh, if you follow the recent events, you will find out that, of course, that has been the challenge of the judiciary, particularly when it comes to uh, complete independence. You know, of course, uh, as an arm of government, they also need money to run the system. They need to run the courts. They need to run so many things. Maybe the welfare of the, of the judicial officers, the staff, and what have you. But, uh, and of course, for a, judi a judiciary, they need to go to the executive arm of government to ask for funds. And that is why in the recent times, efforts... Uh, voices have been uh, aired to, to, to call for the independence, complete independ independence of the judiciary as an arm of government. And you could see that even of, 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 of recent, uh, Mr. President, have tried also to put some things in place to ensure that they, 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 are, they are really uh, independent. But again, if the law is that they get their money directly from the consolidated funds, but that at the end of the day, it is not made available to them. So that is the problem that they will now have to go to the executive to beg him and to say, please, uh, we need this and that. And at the end of the day, of course, I know what you're trying to say is that they're not then truly independent. So, so are you but saying the judicial know, system, the judiciary cannot even challenge what rightfully so belongs to you know what we them? are going to do? <laughs> because you, can you imagine? We need to go on a break. But I, I think we the, the, this issue is deeper than what we, we thought we could trash in, in, in some minutes. But we'll go on a short break. When we return, we'll also have um, Fumilayo Ashaolu. She will join the conversation. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 